Are you retired and looking for a way to improve the lives of other retirees? PASR may be a fit for you. Most members are a retired school employee, but anyone can become a member. PASR is the Pennsylvania Association of School Retirees. They're sponsoring this segment. Russell Diesinger is here to share more. He is the president-elect. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Um, explain, what is PASR? It's the Pennsylvania Association of School Retirees. You probably hit in your little intro the most <laughs> unique thing about it, and it was what attracted me. And that is, unlike the other organizations, PASR is open to anyone. That's so that interesting. Has, so there's no there's no division between educator and you know and and support staff and bus driver. The idea is all of these people made schools work, and they're welcome in this organization. Very good. Very and, good. And so for me, it was just a wonderful way to transition into retirement. So I've been very interested and obviously obviously have become very active both in the local chapter level, and at the state level. Let's talk more about that. There is the local, local chapter, the state. What, what's the difference there? I, I think the real, the real difference is the local nature of it. If, if you worked in a specific school district and you want to continue to associate with those folks, the local yeah. place is to do that. If you want to make more friends and get a bigger, a bigger spectrum of what things are like throughout Pennsylvania, then the state can provide that. The state offers some opportunities, the chapter, the local chapters actually uh, sort of mirror image those opportunities. Like in, in the example of travel, uh, the state the state chapter offers two trips a year. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them will be uh, international, and one of them will be somewhere within the United States. Uh, in fact, currently, what we're doing right now is uh, this October there will be a trip hi hi highlighting uh, Scotland and Ireland. Beautiful. And uh, I, I believe it's March, uh, the end of March, early April, uh, there's a trip to the, uh, there's a tattoo tour in Virginia that, that apparently, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it, there's, okay. there's some really interesting <laughs> things. And then the local chapters will sponsor bus trips to theater. Uh, they'll, they'll do many, many things uh, in the southeastern part of the state, Longwood Gardens, things like that, but things that are, are of interest to seniors. Very good. It gets them out, gets them social, and it's, it's very exciting in that respect. And something that you really encourage is community service. Talk about that. Every chapter is encouraged to pick something. I'm, I'm the, also the ch chapter president of the Berks County chapter. Our goal this year is to help alleviate hunger in the Berks County area. Uh, we've also done that as a statewide organization through Feed Pennsylvania. And since the pandemic, I'm sure everyone has seen it on the news. <laughs> but, but since the pandemic, food insecurity in Pennsylvania affects millions of, millions of Pennsylvanians. Yes. And so it's, a very, it's a very important that all of us pull together. But PASR has taken it upon itself and taken it upon its chapters so that we have efforts all throughout the Commonwealth. And that is just terrific. How can someone get more information, maybe look to become a member? I think probably the best thing, if you're savvy enough to do it, is uh, our website, www.pasr.org. I, I think that's probably the best thing. But on that website, you can find local chapters. You can certainly call our office in Mechanicsburg. Uh, there's always someone there that's mo most willing to talk to you, and they are, they're really, they're, it's a real user-friendly group. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing it with our audience. Great to have you here with us. As we go to break, we thank the Pennsylvania Association of School Retirees for sponsoring.